Another day, another Kylian Mbappe video. How's it going, guys? You all right? So, Fabrizio Romano, Mo Salah, he's chimed in. He's chimed in on the Kylian Mbappe stuff again. He's probably chimed in every 30 minutes, to be honest with you, uh, on social media. But you know what? We were saying in my last video, weren't we, about the motives and uh, of some uh, outlets or whatever that... You know, they're exclusively just report about transfer rumours or anything. That's their business model or whatever, right? And, you know, I always have a moan about them. You know, the amount of advertisements and that. I, I, I have less faith in those particular outlets, okay? Fabrizio Romano, whether you like him or not, uh, whether he's annoying <laughs> or not, uh, is, he, he does it right, I think. So I will criticise when I think criticism is justified and I think that when someone deserves you know you're doing it right then I, then I will say that as well so I think Fabrizio Romano uh you know he's professional there you go uh, compared to the rest of them uh, and I like to see what he says I do know sometimes where he gets some of his stuff from I also do know uh I do know that he has uh, contacts in um certain organisations where paperwork may be rubber stamped sometimes uh, for transfers, which enable him to give it the here we go and all that. Uh, but I, I, he, that's his career, that's his job. It's transfer rumours, transfer news, but he does it right. And I ain't got a problem with anyone that does it right. I would trust him. I don't think Fabrizio Romano ever says anything to deliberately mislead you, and I think that's the difference between these fuckers. So, anyway, going back to Kylian Mbappe. So, his camp yesterday actually issued, like, an official statement, if you like. Um, there was uh, an exclusive was run yesterday by, I think it was a French journal, saying uh, that he has agreed to go to, uh, to Real Madrid, I think it was. Uh, it's nailed on, blah, blah, blah. It's the sort of shit we hear every other day of the week, right? Um, and this is in re I think this is in response to that. And it depends. Like, I can make a video about saying, uh, oh, it looks like Kylian Mbappe has not made a decision yet. And then someone will come on my live streams and say, oh, have you seen that, that exclusive? It says he has agreed Dunk to go to, to Real Madrid. And then, so because of all that, like stuff that's going backwards and forwards, his camp's come out now and said as follows. There's no agreement on Kylian's uh, future. There have been no discussions about his future. Eh, are you sure? Uh, no type of influence could dictate the timing of Kylian's discussions, reflections, decisions. This is basically, the suggestion is that Real Madrid are trying to put pressure and not in a very nice way about it. All right, so we all know a football club when they're trying to recruit a player is going to try and put pressure on, uh, play the game and all that. But I think the suggestions are that Real Madrid might be doing things a little bit underhand eh, with the pressure that they are trying to apply on the player, which would explain why, we, you know, this statement's been released. In other words, like, look, listen, no matter what you fucking do, it's not going to happen. All right, so he's going to make his own mind up in his own time. Uh, and I respect that. Now, I don't know what you think, but for me, as a Liverpool supporter that's followed the Mbappe on-off shit for fucking years, it feels like he's been making a decision about his future every single week. Do you know what I mean? Um, and, you know, I've made uh, a few videos recently where I've given my feelings about the situation. And I genuinely do believe that... Uh, <laughs> let me, re let me re re rephrase this. I think uh, Kylian Mbappe will go to Real Madrid. But if that fell through for some reason, right, which for the life of me, you know, I can't work out what reason that could be. I don't know. Uh, if Real Madrid was off the agenda, then I do believe Liverpool Football Club uh, would have a small chance of signing him. I think he has got genuine affection for the club. Too many people that are associated to him are saying it. Too many people associated to both of those football clubs, PSG and uh, Real Madrid, are saying it. Uh, I, I, and I, I, please do not try and tell me about the owners. I know about our owners. Uh, there would be a lot of things that would be required to make it happen, such as Mo Salah being sold, uh, Jurgen Klopp extending his deal, you would imagine. Uh, but it would have to fall through with Real Madrid, and I don't see how, how that could happen. But then again, this just just this little statement here is the Spanish, the Real Madrid, right? First of all, Spanish in general, but Real Madrid won't like that statement. They'll be fucking really offended with it. Trust me, right? 
So this, the Real Madrid especially, not just the Spanish, but Real Madrid especially, they don't like being told what to do. And you'll have seen that when they've been Liverpool players over the years or other high-profile uh, players, high-profile clubs, sorry. Real Madrid, they, they think they can bully people into doing what the fuck they want. They're, it's a shit club, guys. They might be a, you know, a famous club with prestige and honour and all that. And we, yeah, we love all that, right? But it, it, they are, they're not very nice people, I've got to be honest with you. Some of, like this, some of my fans support Real Madrid, so if they're watching, you know, you're all right. You know what I'm saying? But no, your club's shite. Um, so um, they do bully and they do apply pressure and they do think they can tell people what is happening and they also do it through the media here in Spain. That statement being issued is a sign of like, hey, we'll do what we fucking want. Now, I noticed one bit today in one report said, and this is from the mainstream media, not some shitty poxy blog or something. It appears more likely that Mbappe will be on the move in the summer with several Premier League clubs, including Liverpool, also believed to have been encouraged by his camp to submit proposals in the coming weeks. Now, we know we get like a, you know, when, whenever a top player becomes available, all the clubs, you know, like oh, Liverpool, Man City, uh, Man United sometimes, Newcastle, anyone. Anyway, the, the teams up there or that have got money or whatever are always linked with them because it's easy for a journalist to throw them in. Liverpool keep, uh, are continually linked with Mbappe non-stop. I am not trotting out Mbappe to, to Liverpool, right? I'm not, guys. But I will comment on what's happening in the news and offer opinion. And you, you form your own opinions, right? right? Look, he's not... No, I don't know. It'd have, to, it'd have to fall through with Real Madrid uh, for us to get a chance of signing him. And I do think if Mo Salah was sold and that money was there, I think a substantial signing on fee completely changes uh, the, the weekly salary, if you want to look at it like that. But I also think you're going to have to extend as well. I know you, I know you, don't, we've heard it, we, we went through this with, hang on, hang on, hang on, Bellingham, it's Bellingham, <laughs> not Bellamy, <coughs> I get them mixed up all the time, you know what I'm like, I'm, I'm getting old now, you know what I'm saying, I forget these things, but, um, no, I don't care, I don't give a fuck, I'm telling you right now, two weeks ago, if you'd have said anything to me about Mbappe, I'd have said, shut up, silly, you know what you're talking about, uh, but no, I, I am absolutely, uh, convinced if Real Madrid fell through that there'd be a chance that we would sign him. That's it. That's my opinion. But I do find it interesting that it says that people, you know, Premier League clubs have been uh, invited or encouraged by his camp to submit proposals. The claim is made at the same time his camp's issuing the statement. So we know it's a game. He's going to go to Real Madrid. Okay, we know that. But some of... Never say never do football. There's something else I wanted to say about it as well, actually. But I can't remember. It's a load of shy anyway. So there you go. Anyway, clubs have been invited. Premier League clubs have been invited to submit proposals. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Uh, and of course, we had the article in The Times. I think it was yesterday. No, maybe not yesterday. Maybe two days ago now. Uh, which said that he was looking at the Premier League. You know? So, you know, if Liverpool, you know, win something spectacular. Oh, yeah. The, the more successful Liverpool football club is... The longer Jurgen Klopp, uh, Jurgen Klopp is at Liverpool, uh, the more likely you are of attracting the star players. It's that, it's that simple. PSG, I don't think he stays at PSG. It's fucking Farmers League, it's garbage, right? He's minted, he's got all the money in the world, so is he really going to be that motivated by all the money? Real Madrid has always been the one that we're expecting to go to, and that's probably going to happen. But I don't think it's agreed. I genuinely don't think it's agreed, because... If his camp are lying, no, there's no agreement, he hasn't made a decision anywhere, then why, why are his camp denying that? Because he's got, him and PSG have got an outstanding uh, relationship in terms of, well, no, I'm going to rephrase that. They haven't got an outstanding relationship. But they came to an agreement, look, if, you, if I leave in the summer, you don't have to pay me 80 million euros or whatever. So uh, PSG are going to be all right. Okay, they're going to be all right. Uh, I think it would be a lot easier for everyone if they just made the announcement, personally, that he's off there. Um, but this is supposed to be a football news channel where we discuss what is in the news. I don't have any control over what's in the news. I can only talk about what is out there. So it doesn't mean that I agree with it. We might be just discussing it, right? 
So we need to explain that to anybody that's new around these parts. So the grown-ups are here, you know what I'm saying? Well, I don't know if we are grown-ups here, do you, but... Um, I, I, I genuinely, genuinely, genuinely think we could sign Mbappe, but it'd have to, it, it, the, the Real Madrid thing has to go completely tits up. And I, guys, I have paced my house for the last four or five days thinking, how could it fail? How could it fall through to Real Madrid? How could it fall through? What could change? Because if Real Madrid went, you know what, fuck it, it changes everything. But I just, I can't see that happening. So the reason for my video is one to tell you uh, that his camp did issue a denial uh, yesterday uh, or overnight, and two, that there are suggestions that uh, Premier League clubs have been encouraged to submit proposals. Maybe he wants to play in the fucking Premier League. And a little reminder that the Times said the other day that he wanted to go to the Premier League. The Times saying it is a lot different to talk sports saying it or one of these shitty football insider things or something like that, you know. So, And I'll say it again. If you have zero patience for videos to do with Mbappe, you can see the name in the title. It's a bit of a clue that we're going to be speculating and talking and just chewing things up, all right? So just fucking cat you. Don't be caps locking me to death. All right. Now, what time is it? Fuck me, it's one o'clock already. Jeez. Oh, I, 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 I ain't had out to eat. I can fucking fade away, I know. Hey, guys, listen, look. Fuck life's matter. I'm starving. I want to go get some to eat. Uh, if you appreciate the video, not if you agree with the video, thumbs up. Uh, please leave me a comment. Uh, and you can buy me a coffee or a beer, whichever way you want to look at it, by hitting the super thanks button. I'll give you a shout out if you do that. And also, I do put your name in the video description. If you look in the video description, it's just been reset for 2024. So that's it. Uh, I'm going to go and get something to scram. And maybe we'll be back with something else if there's something uh, worthy of talking about. All right, guys, I'll see you in a bit.